that I always keep coming back to TNCA. A lot of people keep asking me, why do you want to go back there? Tomorrow I might not be alive, but my soul will be hanging around this place. That's what this place means to me. Truly, truly, truly humbled and grateful. Uh, that is all I can start off this particular speech with. I don't generally search for words to express how I feel, but this is one such occasion where I'm truly, truly humbled and very grateful for what this wonderful game has given me. <laughs> I don't know who to thank. In fact, people sitting in this audience are all people that I know by name. And uh, I'd be failing in my duties if I didn't thank some of them. Uh, I could see the love of some people who have come in here and sat just because they want to be here for this occasion. I don't want to start off on names. It could get really complex. Um, this place that we are all, <laughs> that I'm getting felicitated today, is a very, 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 very special place. And the number of varies don't do justice to what I actually feel about this particular moment. Long, long time ago, uh, I remember Mr. Kasi Viswanathan, uh, as we are seeing him today, the CEO of CSK, the former secretary of the TNCA. I remember him walking out of this, one of these old doors here. It's a renovated place right now, uh, in his formals, congratulating me for being selected in the Tamil Nadu cricket team in the under 14s. That's, that really is how long ago all these people were invested and have truly made this journey remarkable for me. When I think back to those days, uh, another man I would be failing in my duties because today he's an office bearer in the TNCA and someone who has to make decisions and sometimes has to be a, sometimes has to be a bad cop, Mr. R.I. Palni, uh, who is, uh, who's put together this whole event today. And uh, I was studying in PSBB Kekanagar, and I wanted to shift schools to St. Beads. A lot of people looking at administrators and office bearers today would think where they have come from. I mean, we'd be thinking where they've come from. This man truly has arrived from the grassroots of this game. Uh, even today, when I look back at his journey, there is something to learn for. What did he do for the cricketers at that grassroot level? And I'm one of those cricketers that he truly passed on and uh, touched my life to where I am today. And uh, I can't really tell you that he picked up the ball, picked up the bat for me, told me to do this. But in a way, he's touched my life that it's transformed its journey. Because they, they always tell you one thing. People who teach you are, are your gurus. But people who teach you harsher lessons are godly to you. And every one of those people sitting here have either taught me something or given me a harsh lesson. And I value every one of those people sitting here. In my opinion, Anil Bhai actually said, uh, Anil Bhai and Rahul Bhai briefly mentioned that. It's very tough to win an argument with me. It's true. It's definitely true. Because I believe argument is one of the greatest pathways to excellence. And for me, argument is never with a person, and it's always with the true learning that comes at the end of it. Um, how can I recall this moment? I, I would be, I'd be definitely not be able to, I would definitely not be able to sleep tonight if I didn't recall this particular instance. In 2008, there was this whole uh, atmosphere and you know, the whole buzz around a T20 tournament that India had launched. And Chennai truly and rightfully had picked up a team, which is now a billion dollar, sir, if it's a trillion dollar, correct me, but if it's a billion dollar uh, company by itself, Chennai Super Kings, as all of you would be uh, dearly cheering for in 10 days time. That team had launched its first ever attempt to building a squad. And in 2008, I was playing a game between India Simmons and Jolly Rovers, Kemplast. I turned up for Kemplast, and I picked up six wickets that particular day, and went back home with a with man of the match trophy. But what had ensued was I had given auditions to several teams, tried to make phone calls to understand if there was a talent hunt. There were no auctions at that point of time. And, I, and like I said, people just turn up and push you to the next level. Mr. Krishnamachari Srikanth was the chief guest on that night. He picked up the mic and I said, Hey, Ashwin, you can tell me, you can tell me, you can tell me, you are the best, 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 you are the best. And I was famished because I, I wasn't in the team. And then he turned left towards Kasi and said, Hey, Kasi, are you ready? And that particular line and the fact that Kasi was standing, Kasi sir was standing at that podium changed my life altogether. I received a contract from Chennai Super Kings the very next day. You, you just don't know how funny life is. People can push you onto different perimeters and different levels. 
And 2008, I went into the dressing room, met all the greats, Matthew Hayden, Mahindra Singh Dhoni. I mean, I had very little words. I didn't win an argument because I didn't try for, to have one. But I had sat through 2008, and somewhere in that particular season, I had, I mean, I was a no one then. I mean, wh where am I to play in a team that had Mutaya Murli Dharan? Mr. N. Srinivasan then was an office bearer in the BCCI. If I'm not wrong, sir, you might have been the treasurer or the secretary. Uh, I think he was the treasurer. So Mahindra Singh Dhoni was walking back from a press conference who I wish to thank very deeply. I would be indebted for the rest of my life to Mahindra Singh Dhoni for what he gave me. Uh, he gave me an opportunity with the new ball to go head on against Chris Gale to probably know 17 years later that Anil Bhai would be talking about that particular episode. And I'm truly grateful for that. He was walking back with his usual, you know, people around him. There were a lot of people. I'm not sure Dr. Baba was still hanging around. He might have not been there. He was not the media manager then. He was coming back, and I was catching balls that Jacob Oram, Oram was tonking from the center of the pitch. I was catching it with a mitt. I'd never seen a baseball mitt till then. So I thought I'll catch it with it. It was relat relatively easy than catching with two hands. And Mr. Srinivasan, out of nowhere, jumped out. He was wearing this, you know, I, I think he was wearing one of these, probably one of these overcoats. And he just walked in. He said, MS, MS. That's how he addressed him at that point of time. And he looked at him, and he said, you know, there is a boy called Ashwin. He bowls off spin, and he is very good for Tamil Nadu. I think you should have a look at him. And he looked at sir and said, yes, sir, I will look at him. The conversation ended. But I still very, very clearly remember that moment and several other moments from there on. He called me in 2013 and said, they wanted to drop you, but I put my foot down and said, he was the player of the series in the last series. We need to continue with him. If you want, play two off spinners. And that was my first game of having played with Harbhajan Singh in this wonderful ground. I played head-on with him in a test match, knowing what it stood for me. And several years later, he recalls every one of those moments. I'm just astonished at the kind of memory he still holds with himself. I would again be failing in my duties if I didn't refer to Anil Bhai at all in this conversation. Several moments we've had when he was the coach of the team. Anil Bhai is one of those interestingly wonderful souls that I've met. He's so insightful, knows the game inside out, completely honest, but yet would never hurt anyone in a conversation. <laughs> that's, that's one lesson I learned from him, because I'm, I'm, I'm honest to a point where I can hurt people. And since I met Anil Kumble and worked with Rahul Dravid and worked with Rohit Sharma and several other people, I've understood when you make conversations that you don't necessarily hurt people and you can get on the other side. Life truly is a very enjoyable journey when you come across such wonderful people and learn from them. I would also, not, I'd also like to thank one wonderful person that was my first ever first class team captain, Subramaniam Badrinath, sitting in the front row here. Uh, three days before I mentioned to my wife, Balabai messaged me and congratulated me, ba Badri did not do it. I'm so sad. Usually he's the first one to do it, but he is present here. That tells me I'm so glad, Badri, that you could make it here. I'm so glad. Uh, Balabai was the first one who told me, Ashwin, you know there have been several good cricketers and I think you are, you are as good as Kapil Dev. This was the year 2006. And he told me the day you pick up a five-wicket haul and make a hundred in a first-class game is the day I would truly think you're on the way to playing for India. The game was against railways here at Chepok, and I picked up five in the game and got a hundred. And Balabai said, you're not looking back from here onwards. Uh, some wonderful people in, the, in, this, in this audience. I, if I've forgotten somebody, please forgive me. Uh, Vidyut is sitting here. Uh, R. Srinivasan is sitting here. Played a lot of cricket with me. Boski has turned up. I saw him there. Hari, Aparjit, Indrajit, all of them. And Ashwin Christ is here. Uh, I think a hallmark of a player coming from a certain state is seeing the cricketers that he's played with and see them turn up for an event like this. Abhinav Mukund is hosting the event that I'm being felicitated at. I think that's a great, uh, great gesture in itself, Abhi. Thank you for doing this. Dinesh Karthik's voice. I'm slowly turning this into an vote of thanks. DBR sir is here. Thank you, DBR sir. Paji, thank you for all your, all your efforts through here. OK, small story before I wind up. A very funny one. I want to finish it on a funny note. A lot of people spoke about how I've tormented left-handers day in and day out. My first tryst with this great batsman that Tamil Nadu produced, Mr. Sridharan Sharath, is sitting in the front row. I picked up the ball. I was playing for Spick. Somebody told me, if you're that good an off-spinner, try and get this guy out. Sharath didn't quite rate me that day. I did get him out at ICL Guru Nanak. He got caught at slip. And I played several more games against Sharath. It's very fair to note he only got beaten, never got out to me again. That's the quality of the batsman that he possessed. That, that's the kind of batsman he was. And uh, I bowled to Sharath a lot. 
and hence I became a far better bowler to left-handers. A lot of coaches are here, my childhood coaches, several other coaches who passed through my TNCA journey, and managers, rightfully so, Mr. Velu, um, Mr. Hari, Dr. Baba. He's not been a manager only for the TNC teams. He was a manager in 2014 and 15 season when India was playing in Australia. I went through some tough times again, like Srinivasan sir had pointed out. He was a pillar of support, and I also always cherish it. He's always stood by for the game. His wonderful son, I mean, his sons are wonderful cricketers too. I really wish to see Inder go through the journey again this year. But all in all, before I wind up, I would like to say one thing. This place has given me so, so, so much. I always keep coming back to TNC. A lot of people keep asking me, why do you want to go back there? Tomorrow I might not be alive, but my soul will be hanging around this place. That's what this place means to me. Thank you so much. Dr. Natarajan is here, uh, someone who is very forthright, hasn't come to TNC for the last seven, eight years. He's turned up for this particular event. I'd like to thank you so much for making it, sir. You've, you've also been a part of my wonderful journey. And finally, two people that I would, I would definitely not be forgiven for. One, Mr. W.V. Raman. He's here. I just saw him. Uh, whatever he's taught me as a bowler and a cricketer, disciplines, ruthlessness, everything, I've applied till today in my life. Sometimes get into trouble because I do the same to my family. Last, but definitely not the least, I thought he was in America. Sunil, sir, thank you so much for being here. If you hadn't identified that off spinner who was ragged and didn't look like a cricketer the other day, I wouldn't be who I am today. Thank you so much, Sunil, sir. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.